Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we'll see how to combine multiple BIP text files from the Scopus database and multiple text files, that is plain text files from the Web of Science database. So once we create a single big file of all the BIP text files from the Scopus database and a single big file of all the text, plain text files from Web of Science database, we'll combine these two big files and create one XLSX file, an Excel sheet file, so that we can import that in BiblioShiny. So this is about bibliometric analysis, one step that can help you in combining a lot of bibliometric data together. Let me share the screen. So here, first of all, we'll uh, load the bibliometrics package onto R. We use library bibliometrics, as you see here, the first line. And we also load the XLSX package, library XLSX. Then we load library bibliometrics data. It may not be required, but it's always safer to load this. Now the brass text combining BIP text files. So I've created three knowledge management BIP text files. So I searched for the keyword knowledge management and I got three BIP text files from the Scopus database. I have named them KM1, KM2, and KM3. So I'm creating a file which is a combination of KM1.BIP, KM2.BIP, and KM3.BIP. So I'm naming it big underscore BIP text. That is the combined file. And C, so this is a factor. C, read lines. Read lines is the function, KM1.BIP comma new line because there's a new line after that. Read lines came two dot bib again a new line character and read lines came three dot bib. Once I run this, I am able to combine the bib text files. Once these files are combined, then I write those files as a bib text file. So I write these lines, I use write lines command and I get big underscore bib text, which is the file that I got after combining, and big bib text dot bib. So I'm getting this. After write lines, I import the Scopus data set. So once the big file is created, I import that big file into R. So Scopus underscore data, I use the convert to DF convert to data frame option or convert to data frame function and I type the file name which is big bib text. So you see the output when I run this big underscore bib text, you get the output. It is combined. Now I want to write this as a bib file, which is a combination of KM1, KM2, and KM3. So I use write lines. Once I run it, I get the output. There's no error. Now I import this file as Scopus data. I, I name it Scopus underscore data and I import big underscore bib text dot bib. So Scopus underscore data is the name I'm giving. I'll use the convert to data frame function big underscore bib text dot bib. This is a file, this is a combination of KM1, KM2, and KM3. Database sources Scopus format is bib text. I run this. So it says converting a Scopus collection into a bibliographic data frame. That is happening. There is some warning there, missing fields ID, but that's fine. It won't affect our output. So it will take some time to run, and finally it will say, Done. Generating affiliation field tag, AUN from C1. So this is done. Now, I've also created or downloaded or extracted some text files from the Web of Science database. Again, on knowledge management, this becomes a comprehensive database. So I have a km1.txt file, km2.txt file, and km3.txt file. So what I'm doing is I'm combining these and calling that big underscore text. So I run this command. It 
does it quickly and then I write this file big text as a text file. So I use right lines for that, right and uh, right capital L, right lines. This is a function which saves this file in the working directory and call it big. I'm calling it big underscore text dot txt. Let me run it again. It runs. Now, once it is written or saved in the data base, it is saved in the current working directory. I import it into a file called web underscore data again using convert to data frame. I run that. It says converting your was collection. Was is web of science collection into a bibliographic data frame. And it says done. It will take some time and it is done. Now I combine these two data sets as we did in the previous video. Combine underscore final I'm calling it. Merge DB sources is the function. Web underscore data is our web of science data set and scopus underscore data is our scopus data set and we want to remove duplication so for that we have remove dot duplicated is equal to true so this is the syntax for that or this is how you remove the duplicates and let's run it 18 duplicated documents have been removed now once this is done i need to write this or save it combine underscore final dot xlsx so i'll save it as an xlsx file let me run it it will take some time but it will save it as an xlsx file So once it is done, you can see on the right you have the combined underscore final dot xlsx file. So it has run now. Now, how do we import it to BiblioShiny? It's simple. We go to BiblioShiny and we see the So once we run that command BiblioShiny, we get the BiblioShiny on the screen. This is the web interface. And now we go to data and import or load files. Now please choose what to do. In this, we have to be careful. We are not going to import raw files. We are going to import a bibliometrics file. So this is a bibliometrics file. Now we have saved it as an XLSX file, but it's a bibliometrics file. So we'll say load bibliometrics file. We'll browse to the location where it is saved. It's called combine underscore final, if you remember. We open that. It says upload complete, and we click on start. Once we click on start, we see the data set in front of our eyes. Number of documents is 5011, 5011 documents after combining Web of Science and Scopus data sets. And within Scopus also, we combine multiple dot bib text files. And in Web of Science, we combine multiple text files. So in all, we have 5011 papers or articles or papers or conference papers or whatever. Now let's look at one of the tabs, which is the main information or the overview of the data set that we have imported and we'll stop there and after that you can use the various tabs available to get the output that you require it will take some time because there are 5011 files so it takes some time to load that let's wait here it is so you see Number of documents 5011, sources, journals, books, etc. 915, 915. Average years from publication 7.36 years, average citations per document 62.2, and so on. Now you can use the BiblioShiny package to understand or to perform the bibliometric analysis using this BiblioShiny. So, one thing to remember when you are using BiblioShiny for Analyzing such kind of data where you have exported it as an XLSX file, it is a bibliometrics file. If you do an import raw file, it won't work. It should be a bibliometrics file. I hope this session was useful.
Thank you.